Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-6035. Item Number, SCP-6035 Object Class, Safe Neutralized Special Containment Procedures, SCP-6035 is currently secured in a standard high value storage locker at Site-73. To prevent possible reactivation of its anomalous properties, it may not be removed from its current location without permission from the site director. Description, SCP-6035 is a vinyl LP of the 1980 album Is This Real? by the punk rock band Wipers. When not activated, SCP-6035 is identical to non-anomalous vinyls of the same album. SCP-6035's anomalous properties manifested when it was placed on any working turntable or other device that is intended for the use of vinyl records. When the first song, titled Return of the Rat, was played, two large anthropomorphic entities resembling common brown rats, Rattus norvegicus, and carrying electric guitars manifested in the immediate vicinity of SCP-6035. These entities, designated SCP-6035-A and SCP-6035-B, would then proceed to act out the lyrics of the song in a mostly literal manner, and had elongated human-like arms and legs for this purpose. The subject who activated the record would be periodically interacted with as the song progressed. Once Return of the Rat concluded, the entities demanifested and the rest of the record could be played with no anomalous effects. Sample SCP-6035 Test Test Subject B-53995 Subject is instructed to place SCP-6035 on the testing turntable, play the record, and observe the results. Song timestamp SCP-6035-A and B Actions Lyrical Equivalent 0 o'clock-010 SCP-6035-8 appears within the testing room and begins playing its guitar at 05. Opening instrumental. 010-020 SCP-6035-A stops playing its guitar and a map of the United States appears in its hand. SCP-6035-A scrutinizes the map closely before showing it to D-53995 and pointing at it excitedly. Corresponds to lyrics urging the listener to stay alert and remain aware due to unspecified persons arriving from throughout the country. 020-044 SCP-6035-A vocalizes the chorus and continues to play its guitar. These are the only words spoken by SCP-6035-A and SCP-6035-B throughout the manifestation event. Eponymous Chorus and Instrumental 045-054 SCP-6035-B manifests, carrying a Bible and wearing the attire of a Catholic priest. It then proceeds to beat D-53995 over the head with the Bible for several seconds before pointing its finger at her in an accusatory manner. Corresponds to lyrics in which the singer urges unnamed persons to confess to an unspecified action. 055-150 as the chorus and guitar solo begin, SCP-6035-B discards its Bible and an electric guitar appears in its hands. SCP-6035-A and SCP-6035-B then vocalize the chorus before reproducing the guitar solo from the song. Chorus, Guitar Solo 151-2 o'clock SCP-6035-A and SCP-6035-B appear on either side of D-53995 and grab her shoulders while pointing around the testing chamber in an agitated manner. Corresponds to lyrics identical to the verse from 010-020, but with an unspecified room referenced in place of a country. 201-237 SCP-6035-A and SCP-6035-B vocalize the chorus and play the instrumental that concludes the song. Following the end of the track, they both take a short bow and immediately to manifest before the next song. Mystery plays. Chorus, closing instrumental. Addendum 6035.A, Accidental Neutralization of SCP-6035, on October 22, 2019. 
SCP-6035 was accidentally neutralized during regular testing. Following the conclusion of a standard test, researchers instructed the test subject, D-46924, to remove SCP-6035 from the testing turntable and immediately replace it with a non-anomalous final of eight songs for Greg Sage and the Wipers, a 1992 tribute album consisting of covers of various Wipers songs. Following the conclusion of the third song on the album, a cover of Return of the Rat by the grunge band Nirvana, SCP-6035-A and SCP-6035-B, neither could be distinctly identified due to their identical physical features and atypical actions, manifested in the testing chamber. One was wearing a Nirvana-themed shirt and the other a shirt which mimicked the cover art for Is This Real? Both entities then made loud screeching vocalizations at one another in an apparently argumentative manner for the next five minutes. At the conclusion of the argument, the SCP-6035-AB instance wearing the Nirvana shirt picked up SCP-6035 and threw it against the testing chamber wall. Both instances then slowly walked towards the opposite end of the testing chamber before demanifesting. Following this event, SCP-6035 displayed no anomalous properties in its subsequent activations, SCP-6035-A and SCP-6035-B have not appeared since the aforementioned test. SCP-6035 has been reclassified as neutralized. Thank you for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts, leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations. More